welcome back welcome back the hashtag to use is hashtag entrepreneurship tuesday on why in the morning at y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media platform at michelle ashira is where you can reach out to me i'm reading some of your comments out here and i'm just going to sample them after this particular interview so in this particular session we are talking about uh, matters of creating warm spaces be it in your home uh the office wherever you are just to show that your space is warm and cozy we're talking about interior deco interior decoration so in studio right now i have uh, carol gekonyo uh, she's the ceo of Porsche deco and design apostle 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 yeah design i didn't mm -hmm. want to i didn't want to <laughs> mm -mm, butter in the morning hand okay, okay. <laughs> uh, thank you very uh, much for creating time carol okay thank how are you, you doing i am fine mm -hmm. yes who is carol uh carol is a mother mm -hmm. to one boy mm -hmm. i am a daughter i am an entrepreneur mm -hmm. i am a child of god mm -hmm. and i'm passionate about life all right yes before until deco uh what was carol doing uh, before interior deco, I was a banker. Okay. Um, I worked in the banking industry for over 10 years. All right. Going 12. Mm -hmm. And then um, I left mm -hmm. <laughs> because it wasn't, I think it wasn't my place okay. to be in it. Then I stumbled into the interior design uh, deco mm -hmm. business. All right. Yes. Yeah. When did that happen? Um, it started in 2013 mm -hmm. when I left uh, employment. Okay. Um, I did my own seat, as in that's the upholstery part. Because I reupholstered my seat in the house mm -hmm. and I thought, wow. Mm -hmm. um, so you can take an old seat and make it look nice. Mm -hmm. Change colors, just it changes the whole environment. Mm -hmm. Then I thought, okay, I'm coming from the professional world where nobody knows about this, as in and then nobody wants to hustle about it because the hassle of going to Gikomba, talking to fundis is too much. I was like, by the way, this is a good thing. Can I post on Facebook and see if I can get somebody who will be interested in Reaction. this? And yeah, I got clients. Uh, I got a call from a friend. Like, can you do this for my seat? Um, and it started. It started like that, like a joke. But because that time I was, I was still thinking maybe I can go back to employment. I was still in between, so and I was also in school. I was I was in uh, I was at Desta, so I had school. So it wasn't like a full time thing. It was just like a hassle, in between jobs. Then I did it for um, 2013, 2014, 2015, mm -hmm. and back to employment. Mm -hmm. Then I went to work for microfinance. Um, I did two years there. Then I think that the moment you've tasted your own money, your freedom you just can't t sit in an office you can't do an eight to five because mm -hmm. you're just restless so i found myself back okay out and this time because i had already created a page um because i ran my business on the page it's online mm -hmm. um then i decided okay let me revamp it let's let's try and do different things and it exploded as in oh. it was no that's when not everything just fell into place mm -hmm. yeah Okay, mm. uh, so you've tested uh, both sides of the world, employment and uh, being your own employer. Mm. Uh, what is what is the difference of the two? Uh, maybe you could ha you could highlight uh, some of the experiences that you've had uh, in employment and in entrepreneurship. In employment, um, when you're an employee, you're in a comfortable space, and um, there are people who. As I say, the people who have been born mm -hmm. to stay in one job, one environment, all their life. They can survive um, even 30 years in one employment. My issue was, and maybe most bankers, we move. As in, you move from one bank. In those like 10 years, I had done like four banks. So, you've, so that means there's something, you're very restless in, in what you're doing. Um, the other thing, you also move um, from one bank to another or from one employer to another mm -hmm. because of the money. The more you move, so your rank goes up, your money goes up. But you see, you end up, you're a slave to that whole thing. But for others, it works. The people who get rich out of employment, but the percentage is like 1%. The rest, you're just living paycheck after paycheck. Like uh, the new language I've learned so far, the month becomes longer than the money. <laughs> 
so because by by mid i think by the first week you're broke mm -hmm. and now it's you're looking forward to the to the salary when you're in employment you have your freedom you have your time so you choose how you're going to run it but it's crazy because you're more committed to it you mm -hmm. give it 110 percent mm -hmm. um the money that comes in you're the only one who is budgeting it. you're going to do the budgeting you're the one who decides this profit what do i do do i save do i do this um and there's more money you make more money like uh, you'd make in the first weeks of the month you can make more money than you ever did with your salary when you're employed mm -hmm. yeah but when starting off let's look at when you're starting off uh, 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 the transition now from an, uh, an a secured mm -hmm. uh, job where you are, you are assured of a paycheck at the end of the month, and now you're, you're stepping into a new space where uh, mm -hmm. you're not yeah, really yeah, sure, not sure yeah. about the future. Uh, how is that? Let me tell you, um, entrepreneurship takes this. You have to be consistent, you have to be persistent, okay. and you also have to be optimistic mm -hmm. because you have uh, more than 99% of the time mm -hmm. you want to go back to employment. Because mm -hmm. you will find yourself, like during this COVID time, you will stay without, nobody is calling you, no business is coming through. Mm -hmm. But if you're employed, you'd have your salary. Okay. So it's, it's a choice that you make every day. Um, I'm willing to do this. I know where I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. And again, when you're passionate about what you're doing, you never feel you never feel this thing is not right. Mm -hmm. You you push yourself, but uh, it takes a lot of consistency and being persistent. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of it takes a lot from you right. to remain as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. especially if you've come out of employment. Because mm -hmm. the options, even I, like this year, I've talked to a few friends of mine. Can I go back? Can I come back? Can I get a job? But then um, something happens. Like when you decide, hey, I want to go back to employment, at the time, the doors just open. You start getting work. You're like, okay, what was I thinking? Then there are others who tell you, ah, oh, you've been out there for long. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you'll do here. But others tell you, hang in there. As in, where are you going? Stay there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so for person, for uh, our viewer who is watching this, and they will be wondering, what are we talking about interior deco? Interior deco. What is interior deco? Interior deco is the is what you see. Mm -hmm. It's it's when you you get into a room how it's been put up, okay. the furniture, the curtains, the colors, as in the whole space. Um, interior design is a concept. Mm -hmm. They can give you, like when you're designing your house, that's where they come in. Uh, it's a space. Maybe you can decide I want these meters, the, the, the meters and the square feet, all that. Interior decor is the aesthetics. Mm. What, how do colors blend in? Mm -hmm. How do you do color blocking? And for most guys, especially for my clients, because we do upholstery, we do, where I'm online, it's because I don't need to be like at the workshop. Mm -hmm. We reupholster seats, mm -hmm. sofas, curtains. So we come to your space. That means you have a house, big or small, and you think I can change, maybe I can get a different color for my seats. I need to change curtains. I need to do this. So we come to you and we create your space. All right. Yeah. And also we have someone who may be watching this and they always want to have uh, a nice cozy place and they might want to invite an interior decorator, but they feel like oh, the expenses, it might be quite expensive. How would you work, uh, work with your client in terms of uh, meeting towards what they want and work within their budget so it's it's conversation basically mm -hmm. the first thing you do is consultation so it's you tell me this is my budget this is what i want um the others will go like i have this seat can i change it can it look this way because you see you can see the ones that are out because right now i think that um the hippiest seats are the tuft the tuft seats mm -hmm. the chesterfield the ones that have buttons yes. so everybody looks at theirs and they think okay can i change this to can it look like this? Mm -hmm. So I have to tell you, yes, no, the structure is like this. Then you tell me this is how much I have. Then we work with our budget. Mm -hmm. Interesting enough, any budget can fit. You can do something with what you have. Mm -hmm. You can change something with what you have. It's just, um, just being open. Okay. Yeah. I would mm -hmm. tell us like we can go for cheaper but quality. Yes, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Yes, there they are. Mm -hmm. As in people do, um, it's also how, how far you want to make your mind to open it up and explore mm -hmm. out there. Because mm -hmm. the thing about decor is 
um, you can use anything. You can use kangas, you can use kitenges, you can use, you can you go to Gekomba, there is fabric for everybody. There is the high end, there is the other, you think it's low end, but it's very nice. And it's also how you put up, you bring the pieces together. It can be a cheap thing, but it looks nice. Okay. Yeah. What sort of a background does one require uh, to just venture in this particular business? For me, I think it's, it's talent. Mm. <laughs> Everybody has been born with mm -hmm. their God-given talent. Mm -hmm. There is something that is in you. Maybe you're in employment or you're seated at home, you're wondering, what do I do? Okay. So it's more of what do you do with what you have where you are. So take, take, take the courage. Um, and, and creativity, I think everybody, we did um, the 844 system, Art and Craft. I think everybody knew there is where there are those people who are good in drawing, those people who are good in doing, bringing colors together, uh, people who did agriculture, you know, we were exposed. Mm -hmm. and, and most people who are running um, activities or doing things with, that are talent-based and passion-based, it's something that started from when you're a child. Because for me, when I was young, I wanted to, okay, I had a few things. I wanted to do political science, because I was thinking I can do politics. <laughs> then I also really wanted to do interior design. Um, that was also something else. Then when we finish school, you find higher, yeah, we're in the technology space, so you go and do IT, because everybody else is doing IT. You can actually explore. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then you go and do, I don't know, business, because everybody is doing. Then uh, there's a white collar jobs that everybody needs to get. So you find yourself in employment, but there's still that thing in you that is the creative space in you. Mm -hmm. That's the one you need to tap into. Mm -hmm. And that's the one that takes you to the next level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And mm. uh, at what point were you confident uh, to the point where you need to uh, form a vision to actually actual, actualizing the, the whatever you had in your mind, which is now coming up with a push decker? When I, got a, when I got a client, mm -hmm. got the first one, got mm -hmm. the second one, the third one, and you're thinking, ah, this is nice. And interesting enough, back then, when I started, I would go, I didn't have confidence to go to the clients alone. Because like, now I come to you, I need to take the measurements and all that. I did not know how to hold that tape measure, how to calculate. But with time, ended up now, I normally do the consultations alone. Mm -hmm. I am the one who does the measurements, I can calculate. I've gotten to know if I look at a seat, it needs how many meters? If I take a measurement of a window, it needs how many meters? Um, you learn as you go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Speaking mm. about learning, mm. uh, from a point of passion, I'm so sure that is not enough. How did you gather more skills while, while going further in this business? Google is your friend. <laughs> <laughs> There's, um, interesting enough, information <laughs> is out there mm -hmm. in the net. Mm -hmm. And it's how you, how you do it. Um, if you want to grow, mm -hmm. learning never stops. You have to read a lot, so read books, um, read blogs that, uh, that are in this interior space. Read everything, as in just learn. Be willing to open up your mind to new things. Because um, what we say is that success is uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So that means you have to get out of your comfort zone. It will be difficult. It will, it's not an easy thing because you also meet difficult clients. Mm -hmm. So how do you manage them? How do you deal with it? You also get losses because you might get into a job. I'll tell mm -hmm. you, yes, I can work within your budget. And then I come and find myself, it's gone over budget. And the thing with entrepreneurship, you do not go again professionally. You don't go back to a client. Do you go back to your pocket? Yes, you have to. Oh, yeah. Because I promised this. And I have to deliver. So if I come back to you, then I lose credibility because ah. you're, you're just looking like you're shifty, shifty. You don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Yeah, you're not credible. No, yes. I can rely on yeah, you. Exactly. <laughs> okay, you started mm. off by working within your space, and then you posted it on social media, and people appreciated it, and that's how you got your clientele. How yeah. do you retain your customers before you actually check out some of your images? There they yes. go. Okay, yes. uh -huh. maybe you can answer that, and then we'll check out yeah. uh, the pictures. Um, you interesting enough. I, I come to your house, mm -hmm. I, I do a good job, you refer me. Mm. This referral is even better than, than somebody who just comes to the page. Mm -hmm. Then others, whatever photos we have in the page, they do, they mm -hmm. work for you. Um, people, um, you know, 
people are lazy let me say kenyans where we're getting people don't like going and getting tired mm -hmm. so they'll end up on social media pages or they see a photo and then they're like okay sir i think i want to call her and then there are some who are very confident mm -hmm. they'll give you their business but there are others who come with referrals mm -hmm. but i also like the ones who just come they've just i've gone i've checked everywhere mm -hmm. i've gone through your page i think i like your work um and i want to give you business mm -hmm. yeah all right mm. Okay, now we can check out some of the uh, couple of your projects mm. that sh you have done. Mm -hmm. uh, we can start off with the cuttings, yeah? And um, tell us more about this. So this is, this is a new trend mm -hmm. of cuttings that are coming up, mm -hmm. where you're mixing, you mix and match colors, mm -hmm. and then um, this, it, it needs somebody who is very bold. Because mm. most guys don't like colors. And they'll be like, and then the other thing about, if you have such curtains, mm -hmm. that means your house has to be blending. Mm -hmm. So that means the seats, the sofa, no, the sofa, the seats, the dining table, the carpet have to blend in to this. Mm -hmm. But it can have an element of that, uh, that blue. Mm -hmm. it can have an, you can have an element of yellow mm -hmm. or you can have white. Okay. Yes. Oh, just mm. don't throw in curtains. You, yeah, curtains, <laughs> curtains don't. Um, interesting enough, mm -hmm. curtains complement the room. Oh, wow. Well, yes. Okay. Mm. Oh. What if I want to go for darker colors for my curtains? If you want to go for darker colors in curtains, mm -hmm. that's fine. Then you can brighten up the seats. Okay. But even seats that are like this is a gray, you throw in, you can throw in color. The oh. interesting thing about um, why they are called throw pillows people, it's because you throw mm -hmm. and they are there to bring in the element of color mm -hmm. into the room. All right. Then um, what we are noting with, and that's why you see there's a change, mm -hmm. the, the trend currently, um, our parents era, them they were dark brown gray mm -hmm. you know those dull colors mm -hmm. but now people are becoming very bold mm -hmm. so the colors are bigger let's mm. look at this setup mm. uh, okay yes this looks a little bit warm cozy uh maybe you could take us through this image this this is that's an ottoman mm -hmm. but it has yeah it has arms and it's also a storage ottoman okay. Uh, that one you can sit, you can use it to like if you're reading. This is a room, this is like a bedroom because mm -hmm. uh, you can use it as storage because it has somewhere for storage and then it can be a sitting oh, area. Oh, the bottom, eh? yes, the bottom is okay. storage. Mm -hmm. You open it up. So, um, this is a very functional piece mm -hmm. in any room. Mm -hmm. It can be in the sitting room, it can be in the bedroom, but it serves different purposes okay. yeah. is it intentional we have uh, the walls to be gray the mats to be gray yes and yes. the seat to be gray yes that's intentional because that's 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 how you blend in then you see there's that ca the carag that has been thrown there mm -hmm. which is like a blanket that is maroon so gray goes very well with maroon mm. yeah okay mm. okay let's look at that and now yeah, let's look at this sitting room here mm-hmm mm -hmm. So this is blue and then uh, a blend of um, like a floral print, mm -hmm. which is more of um, abstract. Mm -hmm. So there are people who they would want yes to put a color and then uh, they don't want floral. The people who say I don't want floral, but I want something that is abstract. So this is also, th this is also the new trend mm -hmm. is what people are doing. Yeah. Oh, nice. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. That's how you blend. Oh, right. Okay. So the seats, they look amazing. Okay. Uh-huh. You see, no, those are throw pillows. So mm -hmm. you can have, and then you see it's blending in with oh, the curtains, with curtains yes. and the color of the seats and the throw pillows. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The cushion, okay. Those the are pillows, throw pillows, okay. yeah. Pillows, uh -huh. floral, and then we have uh, plain. Yes. Okay. The people who are very comfortable, the people who are uncomfortable with the floral print, mm -hmm. but they are very comfortable with the plain. Mm. So it's just personal taste. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So mm. it's all about personalization because mm. it's your space at the yes. end of the day. You want to yeah. feel at home, mm. warm, mm -hmm. cozy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So okay. going back to now, uh, Posh Deco, what, mm -hmm. what makes the company different? What makes your interior deco company different from what we have in the market? So that I'm sure if I come to you, I might uh, get something different. For me, as I say, it's also it's more of a personal brand. Mm -hmm. It's um, you'll be comfortable maybe dealing with me because you're not going to deal directly mm -hmm. with the fundies. 
because mm -hmm. I will be the face of mm -hmm. the company. Mm -hmm. So you talk to me, we agree, then I bring my staff on board, they deliver, and then you're happy with the process. Mm -hmm. Then the other thing is that we work at home, in your home. So we come to you. Mm -hmm. We say we work on site. <laughs> so <laughs> so we don't um, we, we don't expect you at here. We come and see your things and like, no, bring them to the workshop. Mm -hmm. So what makes it very different is that we come to you mm -hmm. and we go everywhere. We've gone to Kisumu, we've gone to Nakuru, we've gone to Naivasha. So we come to your space okay. and we there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So mm. how many team or what's your team? My team, like it the number of team that she it, has? It depends because, okay, on site, we can go like four. Mm -hmm. um, we can have like, okay, but I've come to see when I have very many projects, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I've tried to have like three going on at the same time and it's really, really crazy because mm -hmm. again, the client expects you to be there. If they see something, this is not right, they won't talk to them, they'll talk to me. Okay. I don't like this, I don't like this. So the team can go up to 20, um, but mostly I work with four. Mm. Yeah. What are some of the achievements looking back and you, you, you're so proud of what you, what you accomplished? What I'm proud of is that I've been able to hang in there, I think, from 2013, mm -hmm. which has been difficult, but it has also been very fulfilling. Okay. Um, my best year was 2018, 2019. Those mm -hmm. years were when everything just opened up and I got very many clients. Um, the other thing that I also am happy about is that I also got to learn how to navigate the social media, mm -hmm. especially Facebook. How do you get clients out of it? And also the digital space. Um, the other thing that I'm also happy about is that I am doing what God blessed me with. Mm -hmm. And I'm becoming a blessing to people. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah, because the other thing that we say, like even the COVID times, if I get a business, I'm not only feeding myself. I am feeding five other families. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So there are people who, if I'm not working, they won't get anything. Absolutely. So there is, you've also blessed many people in the process. Mm -hmm. Then also making clients happy oh. and bringing joy <laughs> into their homes. Okay. Yes. You mentioned something very important that during this time we learned the, how to navigate social media, Facebook. Share the nuggets of wisdom, please. <laughs> um, that, you know, most of the times um, when you're sharing, because if, if you go through my page, I don't just put photos. There's a narration, because mm -hmm. I've also I've researched. So when I'm talking about a color or I'm talking about a certain piece, mm -hmm. I, I describe it. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Then there's, um, I show the process. Mm -hmm. You know, most of the times you can go take photos from other places and put them up. Yeah. So, but this I got from a client. There's a client who told me, you page that time by there, I think that was 2017. Like, hey, your photos, I really looked for you, but I think what you need to do for you to grow, mm -hmm. you need to show the process. So you found it at looking like this, and you show that your people are working on it, oh, and then, and after. yes, the before and after, but they're in between. Okay. As in, has it been stripped? How is it being done? And then people will see, yeah, it is real. It is not just something that you've posted. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, sorry. Uh, Continue, it's okay. Continue. So that one, and then now boosting. There's something. There's Facebook Boost, mm -hmm. where you boost your posts, and the and when you boost, that's when uh, there's a lot of attention that you get, because mm -hmm. they go. As in, when you open your Facebook page, you know there's that whatever the one that is written sponsored. Mm -hmm. That's boosting. That's somebody behind it who has boosted it, and then Facebook takes it to the right people. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What some of the challenges that you have faced? The challenges is uh, managing, managing people, managing the workforce, mm -hmm. and also even clients. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people are different, eh? And, and there are people even like, because um, uh, this work is a skilled, it's a skilled labor. Absolutely. Me, I'm not skilled. So me, I'm, me, I'm more of the creative. concept, the creative and all that. But there's somebody who's going to do it. So you find some of these guys, you try and correct them, it becomes beef. Mm -hmm. They don't want to change anything, um, they feel offended, and you're trying to show them. Then also telling them, as in trying to change their mindset too, it's not just finishing the work, it has to be fine, it has to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Attention to details, as in that corner, that nail, have you done it? Mm -hmm. Are they consistent? As in, are they, we even measure, we use, is it one inch from one to the next? <laughs> you know, those small, small details. Mm -hmm. And interesting enough in this business, people don't bother with 
what you've done it will take you two days three days it's okay but as long as what i see is appealing to my eyes okay. and what's the final product it has to be very detailed mm -hmm. yes okay uh, uh, many industries have been affected uh with covid19 and uh, i don't know about interior deco considering that most people right now we have too much time to ourselves so uh, maybe we'll learn to change our space we'll be looking at my house i want to change this i want to change that uh how has the, the first, business been the first two let's say the first two two three months mm -hmm. let's say from march april may mm -hmm. it was quiet because mm -hmm. at that time everybody was maintaining social distance they were all locked up in their houses even i was locked up because you're wondering where are you going mm -hmm. so for that the three months you are just there you're surviving on what you've saved up mm -hmm. um from that june yeah the same thing what you said yeah guys no like i told a friend mm -hmm. you need to repair your seats yeah he told me i've stayed at home i've looked at that seat it needs work mm -hmm. so yes it opened up because mm -hmm. not everybody was like i need to change this i need to change my curtains i need to do this guys were moving out again because of the economy mm -hmm. um people have moved houses so you move to a smaller house how do i uh, take it down mm -hmm. how do i i've gotten requests of people can i offload as in can i sell now the problem is that we don't buy we don't mm -hmm. buy old seats okay. yes uh, all right. Uh, you mentioned something uh, quite interesting on your bio. You said, "My desire is to overcome fear of an ordinary life." Mm. Tell us more about that. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Baby, mm -hmm. that's what I was saying about employment. Mm -hmm. um, when you're in employment, mm -hmm. you're just living an ordinary life. You're living up the comfort zone. Mm -hmm. It's good. It works. But I want to do more. Mm -hmm. I want more from life. Mm -hmm. I want to to explore mm -hmm. things that I didn't know I mm -hmm. could do. Mm -hmm. As in, you know, we've been given our imagination is mm -hmm. you think out of the box. Mm -hmm. And for you to make millions, if I'm thinking or dreaming of millions, that means I have to really put myself out there okay. in a place that I don't know. But what I've learned or what I've read, mm -hmm. interesting enough, you're told don't think about the how. Mm -hmm. And I think that's how I ended up in this business. Mm -hmm. You need to know the where and the what. The how happens. Ah. It, it comes to you. Okay. And then there's also what I was, um, what I was writing my thoughts today in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, a, a quote from Teddy Roosevelt mm -hmm. that he says, do what you can with what you have where you are. So Repeat that for our viewers back at home. <laughs> okay. Do what you can mm -hmm. with what you have where you are. Mm. And let me tell you, for me that time, for me to stumble into this business. So you've left employment, so you're wondering what to do. So yes, I had a car. Do you know, you're told God uses what you have in your hands. So there was this guy who was doing creative work and he was getting clients, but he was always using taxi. So I told him, why are you using a taxi? Mm -hmm. See, you call me, I'll drive you. And then you pay me. <laughs> that was like the hassle there. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I got money from it. I was thinking, okay, your answers are with you. They are within you. You just need to tap within yourself. You just yourself. need to tap within yourself. Mm -hmm. And then it, 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 the thing is, let's look at even this COVID situation. And I think that's where, as a, as a nation or even as a world, and for the youth especially, mm -hmm. you're in this situation, we cannot control anything. Mm -hmm. We don't know how long this thing will go on. Um, we've, just, we've just been told to adjust and learn to live with it. Mm -hmm. So you just need to know that you're the one who makes the choice. So I will choose how to react to this space or to this situation. And then you do what you can with, with what, what you have, have where you are. Mm. Yes. I like that. I really mm. do like that. Yeah. What is the future of Porsche Deco? Um, the future is my dream. <laughs> is to have you know okay. you see it mombasa road those uh, showrooms and all that oh yeah i see the showrooms yeah. i would want to have one like that that would be amazing yes yes that is kenyan born. you know we are doing to produce our own you know kenyan you buy kenyan and you make kenyan mm. so we'll do it here you know most of like um all the i think all the shops or then ends and all that they bring in as in they are they are made in china then they come and assemble them mm -hmm. here and that's why they're expensive okay. but here we can still replicate that but as i've said it's just the final details attention to detail and make it fantastic
All right. Mm. And uh, it's actually way easier for a client to, to be able to visualize whatever they want with whatever they actually can see mm. in the showroom. Yes. <laughs> How yes. can guys work it and mm. find you mm. on social media? Um, they can find me on Facebook. It's called, my page is called Posh Decor and Apostry Services. On Instagram, it's Posh.254. Yeah. all right mm. amazing so mm. guys that's all matters pertaining into your deco make sure you follow up with carol Gekoyo, and then she'll be making up your space just the way you visualize it and then you can actually get to see it in real life right mm. now thank you very much thank <laughs> you very much darling Welcome. we've learned Welcome. a couple of things yes. uh checking out your art and uh, creativity yes so then i'll go into comments